Hey, what's going on YouTube? For those of you returning, welcome back. If this is your first time here, I'm a do-it-yourselfer and I do a variety of things from installing solar on my house um, to doing modifications to my truck and lately uh, remodeling my garage. So, um, welcome. And for those of you that originally came here for my Tacoma videos, I do apologize, that's not the only thing I do, but I do appreciate you sticking around to uh, check out some of my other stuff. So a few months ago, my dad passed away from COVID and uh, I inherited his tools. This is his main toolbox that he used at work. He was a mechanic uh, for profession and I have been trying to incorporate it into my garage. In today's video, what probably brought you here is the wrench organization. So my wrenches are over here and I will show you the way that I have them. So this is my wrench drawer. Uh, I don't remember where I got this tray from. I had to slightly cut it down in order to fit in this drawer, but I didn't remove any of the functionality of it. It's just the overall footprint of it. Okay, so we have wrenches scattered about the box and different drawers. We'll start here. We have wrenches in this drawer of varying types. Uh, and another cool thing, we got a couple of custom made wrenches here. Looks like he cut the end off of one and welded it to this rod here. Um, same thing with this guy. There's two of them here. This is a pretty common way to organize wrenches or these rails here, but I'm actually going to focus on this drawer today. Now, this is actually one of his better laid out drawers. Uh, this is another type of rack that is used to do wrenches. And we also have some wrenches over in this drawer. We got some more ratcheting wrenches over here. So here is the biggest mess. So this is just a whole bunch of random wrenches um, of varying types. So I've rambled long enough. Uh, the reason why you're here is because you want to see how we go from this to this. So I actually can't take credit for this idea. I found another video on YouTube uh, and I really liked it and it looked easy and it looked cheap. So those were things that I wanted. Also, they are very adjustable. Some of the other ideas for a wrench organization that I was having is possibly making them out of wood, but that's pretty much gonna be where you put it and then you'd have to completely build a new one or rip it apart or whatever if you needed to make any sort of slight changes. So this way it's very customizable. Uh, some of the other ones got really expensive. There's the um, widgets, I believe, the wrench widgets or something like that. Uh, those are like $25 for 10 wrenches. We have a whole lot of wrenches in here. That would get really expensive really fast. So. I don't want to do that. Plus they also take up more room than this method. So this was the first one that I made. Um, I just bent up a piece of wire here and uh, because I just grabbed this piece, a a scrap piece of wire, it was in a bin for scrap metal. And so I grabbed that out just to play with it to see how it would be. The nice thing is, is I ha still have a whole bunch of wire from installing the solar system. So this is all 12 gauge wire. I still have another spool of black, but these are the three colors that I grabbed out of the storage room. In his video, he was suggesting 12 gauge because it gives enough rigidity, but is still fairly easy to work with. You could probably go with 10 gauge. I might for maybe like the longer wrenches, but right now I have just been playing with 12 gauge. So that was the very first piece that I made. And then I went on to make these other ones. Um, so these are for like the, the short stubby wrenches. And what I did is I left a little kind of stick out on either side. And hopefully you can see that they're kind of at a downward angle so that when all the weight on the wrenches, they kind of push and spread out to kind of give it a little bit of a spring to kind of hold them in place in the drawer. And it seems to be working. 
Um, so for those, I only did single coils. And then for the longer wrenches, I did a double coil. And what's very cool about the it doing it like this is, like I said, they're very adjustable. So you can, you can keep them straight in line like this. Like this one, you can keep it straight in line. Or you can kind of angle it outwards. You could have this one go straight and then the other one angle outwards. It's very adjustable. You can put this however you want, whereas a lot of the other ones, you're stuck with it. So I'm really enjoying this method and it's starting to look good. So to make these, uh, you just need some sort of like round dowel. Um, you could get uh, wooden dowels. I'm sure you could probably get some cone shaped ones from either a hobby store or from a hardware store like uh, Lowe's or Home Depot. I have some metal ones that I have found in the toolbox for various uses. Uh, I found this guy, which has kind of a taper to it and this guy, which is just a cylinder. The nice thing about this guy right here is we got a notch right in the side of it. So I'm able to lay the wire in there and that gives me my flat edge. I start there and then I just start coiling around. Uh, with a wooden one, you could drill a hole in it and you could stick the end of the wire through that and then you could do it like that and that'd probably be even easier than this. You might even be able to uh, put it in a drill and really cheat. So this next one, uh, I have four wrenches that I'm going to do. So I, I need four slots. Uh, I'm gonna do a double coil for this one because the wrenches are a little bit longer. And just start coiling it around. And just count your coils as you go. I need four wrenches, so I need four gaps, which is five coils. And since I'm gonna make this a double, I'm gonna have it come across like this. And I'm going to take my shortest wrench of the, the set of four and figure out where I want the other end to see about how wide I want it. And there we go, we got our double coil. And obviously right now they're really tight and you just spread them out a little bit as you get your wrenches in there. Again, that's why I love how easy it is to adjust these. Let's go get them in the drawer. So here's what we ended up with. All the wrenches that were in here originally are still in here. These are the same wrenches. And as you can see, we have a lot more room in here. I like the way that they are organized in here. So there is one thing that I wish I had done differently. So for my, for my sockets, I got these to organize them. These are, again, these are all my sockets. Uh, I think a couple of them came from my dad. Um, I've been trying to add them on here as I go, but I can't fit a lot more on here. Uh, what I did here is these are my standard sockets and the green are my metric. So standard and metric. So what I wish I had done, and I may eventually change them, I don't know, but over here, most of the uh, wrenches in this drawer are metric, but I used red wire. Uh, this one back here, this set is the only set of wrenches that are in this drawer that are standard. And uh, I used white to try and mix it up, but I wish I used red for the standard. And then I wish I had used the green for the metric. And check it out. I did the same thing for the crescent wrenches in this drawer. I made the uh, same type of holder, and the crescent wrenches used to spread out flat just about across this entire drawer. And now they only take up this much room. And this is not a small crescent wrench by any means. This is a 15 inch crescent wrench, so it's a big boy. And fits in there just fine.
And as you can see, they're not falling over. 15 inches all the way down to this little guy, a four inch crescent wrench. So other than that one color coding difference, uh, I'm very happy with the way this turned out. So I will include a link at the end of this video so that you can click on it and go see his video. Um, the, I can't take credit for this. I got the idea from him. I'm very happy with the way this turned out. It's a lot more organized and it's fairly easy to do and it didn't cost me a dime because I already had the wire. If anybody knows what these guys are for, they have, they're have flexible on the ends, um, they're ratcheting. If you guys know what they are specifically used for, can you leave a comment in the comment section below because I am not sure. I guess I could just look it up on YouTube or Google it, but anyway. Um, like I said, I am not a mechanic by trade. I only know enough to get myself into trouble. So anyway, um, that's it for this week's DIY project. Uh, again, I said uh, I told you I'm happy with it. I still have more organizing to do. I showed you my sockets. These are some of the sockets that he has. Um, right now, we just have them chilling up here like this. These are a lot of the loose sockets. We also had this one that was in his cart. Obviously these are some of his more used uh, sockets because he kept them in his cart. So um, all the ones that are up here are extras that he obviously didn't need all the time. Uh, there was another tray like this in his cart and some of those sockets ended up up here because that tray was falling apart and I had to do something with them. So right now they are up here. And for me, it's kind of difficult when I organize them on something like this or what's what I have with those red and green ones. It makes it difficult for me to organize them because I am so OCD that I want them to be entire sets. And most of these sockets up here, there's not entire set. Great DIY project, try it out, uh, see if you like it. Um, I think the guy in his video may have even labeled them. I don't think I can because that wire is so small. I write pretty small and I don't think I can write small enough to write on the wire, but anyway. So uh, thanks for watching this week. Um, hopefully here soon. We'll finally install these guys. These are to uh, seal up the leaks on the the cubby boxes on the bed of the, the my truck, the bed of the Tacoma. So hopefully we can get to that soon. I just, I apologize, I haven't gotten around to it soon, uh, yet. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching this week and we'll catch you guys next week. See ya.